Are you trying to decide the right CS program for you? Well, let's break it down and find the right one. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. I'm an engineering manager and online master's degree student for computer science at Illinois MCS. And on this channel, I share my experiences with online learning and my career growth as a software developer. In this video, let's break down the components to evaluate CS programs. Determine what program style you're looking for. There are three categories CS programs fall into, and they are these three options. MOOC style online programs, traditional online programs, and in-person programs. In-person programs will behave and feel like the courses you took in your undergrad program. To me, the only reason why you would choose an in-person program these days is for one of two reasons. One, you have a target school in mind that only offers an in-person traditional master's degree. Or two, your learning style requires you to be in the classroom. Other than those two reasons, all the other options are going to be cheaper and for the most part have equal prestige. Then that only leaves you with two options, the MOOC online style or the traditional online style CS program. The biggest difference between these two is the technology platform the courses are offered on. For the MOOC style programs, they'll be offered on a service like Udacity or Coursera, while the traditional online programs will be self-contained within university web pages. Some factors to consider. When I was searching for programs, the factors I was looking at were the prestige, ranking, and the peers, course catalog, platform, regional appeal, and cost. When it comes to ranking and prestige of a program, sometimes people will get lost in the numbers when for most scenarios, the ranking of the program that you attend doesn't really matter all that much. This doesn't mean that it shouldn't be considered though. The higher the ranking and prestige of the program, the better candidates it will attract, meaning the stronger the peers in your cohort. You'll be working with these people for two plus years, so the stronger the cohort that you're with, the better. Course catalog to me is the most important factor. Simply, does the program offer the courses you need to acquire the skills you're looking for? If it doesn't, move on. Platform is specific to the MOOC style programs. Basically, do you like Udacity or Coursera? Both of these are battle-tested platforms with hundreds of courses underneath them each, but you might have a preference in which one you like better. Regional appeal of the program might be overlooked, but it can be an important factor when looking at two similar programs. Which program has a bigger footprint in the job markets you are applying to work in? This is a very important question to ask yourself. Lastly is cost. Don't think that a cheaper program means it's a worse program. Two of the top five CS programs offer MOOC style degrees, and they're both under $25,000. In the case of Georgia Tech, it's under $10,000. Okay, so now let's talk about my story and how I selected my program. Now that you know what to take a look for, let's see why I decided to apply to and enroll at the Illinois MCS program through Coursera. I knew right out of the gate that I needed to do an online master's degree because I work full time and I have a young family, so this quickly eliminated all the in-person programs from my selections. Next, I knew I wanted to focus on software engineering and developer skills, so this took my list down to a smaller group of programs. At this point, I was down to the OMSCS, the Illinois MCS, University of Texas Austin Online Computer Science degree, and the ASU Coursera MOOC. Cost wasn't a big player for me, so I was down to platform and regional appeal. Well, I'm in the Midwest, and I plan to work here for a long time, so the Illinois MCS was the right fit for me, and plus I enjoy Coursera a lot more than Udacity, and in the same token, it doesn't hurt that Illinois is a top five CS program. The world of learning is changing so quickly. There's so many great options for a CS master's degree. If you take the selection criteria that we just spoke about, you'll be able to hone in on a great list of target schools. If you're interested in learning more about the process of applying to one of these CS master's degree programs, I have a short playlist on the process. I'll see you in there.